Hey art friends, today we're doing another Easter drawing. What are we gonna draw this time? An Easter Bunny robot. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You need something to draw with, your paper, and... Something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's start with our bunny's nose. We're gonna draw a triangle shape right here in the middle of our paper. I'm gonna draw it about this big. So we got the letter V first, and then we can draw the top of the triangle shape, or the bottom, upside down triangle. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the eyes. We're gonna draw really big digital robot eyes. So I'm gonna draw a circle over here. I'm gonna draw it really big. <laughs> and then I'm gonna draw that same size over here. It's okay if they're not exactly the same. And this one looks a little smaller. Yes, I like how big you're drawing yours. <laughs> Even bigger than mine. I'm gonna make mine bigger. And let's add details. I'm gonna draw another circle around the outside. If you don't wanna make yours any bigger, you could draw this circle on the inside okay. of yours. I'm gonna draw it over here too to match. And the cool thing about robots too, you can add as many extra details as you want. You can add all kinds of buttons and switches. I almost think I wanna add even another ring. This side is so much smaller than this side. I think I'm gonna to try to balance them out by drawing another ring. This time I'm gonna draw one on the inside. <laughs> and then over here I'm gonna draw another one on the outside. Whoops, I got a little wobbly. That's okay, right? We're, pra yeah. we're practicing. The most important thing is? To have fun. Yeah, and to practice. Practice, yeah. These now look like crazy eyes. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the shape of the head. I'm gonna start here. And we're gonna draw the bottom of our robot's head coming across really close to the eyes. So the eyes are taking up a lot of the room on our bunny's robot's head. Yes, okay, now let's draw the top of our bunny head. We're gonna draw an upside down U to complete the shape over to the other side. Nice, now let's draw the ears. I'm gonna draw a shape, or let's first start with a line, a diagonal line like this, but we're gonna turn the bunny ears into a shape all by itself. Yes, okay, now let's turn it into big giant bunny ears. I'm gonna come out of the line. We're gonna come up like this, around, and back down and curve into that diagonal line. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And if we ever go too fast, you need extra time, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, and you can do that if you want to take extra time to add different designs or details to your drawing too. Nice, now let's connect the bunny ears into the robot head on each side. Oh, they kind of look like popsicle sticks now. Yeah, they kind of do. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the inside of each bunny ear. We're gonna draw another shape, I'm gonna draw it an oval shape that's kind of tall, it's really tall. And I'm gonna draw that same oval shape over here inside. <laughs> then let's connect this shape at the bottom and also at the top on each side. Yeah, okay, let's add even more details to the ears. I'm gonna draw a circle at the top and then also maybe another oval shape inside like this. Yeah, now it's really starting to look like a robot. Good job. Well, let's add even more details. I'm gonna draw another circle right here. Maybe this is a sensor on each side above the eyes. Ooh, and then also, see, this is really where you can change all of the details you want. You can add as many. You can even leave off some of these details if you want. <laughs> Let's also add antennas to our little robot. I'm gonna draw two little lines coming out of the top. Oh, I'm gonna make them thicker. I'm gonna curve around and then come down next to it on each side. That way we can color these. Oh, and we could also add a little line at the bottom. <laughs> Love drawing robots. <laughs> okay, let's add little details on the side of the head too. I'm gonna draw a line that comes out, down, and then back in. And let's do the same thing on the right side. Mm. 
Yes, I'm gonna add another small little line that comes up and back in on each side. It's kind of look like headphones, almost like our DJ bunny. Yeah. Now let's add, oh, I'm gonna just add another line. Oh, and maybe a circle down at the bottom. Cool, okay, now let's move on and draw the body. We're gonna draw a shape down here. Let's draw two lines coming down on each side and I'm not connecting them to the head yet. Yeah, then let's curve around right here and we can connect to the chin. And then we're gonna curve into the other line on the other side. So we're drawing a rectangle shape but with curved corners. And then we can do the same thing for the bottom of the body. Let's add a little screen on the body. We can just draw a rectangle shape here on the right side. Then let's add a circle for a button. Maybe you press this and you get chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we can add little switches down here or maybe a rectangle button. Nice, now let's add the feet. I'm gonna draw two upside down U's. I'm gonna draw one here for the left side and one over here for the right side. Then let's connect the bottom of the feet. They look like gumdrops. Yeah, they do. And then we can also connect these into the body by just drawing two lines on each side. Oh, let's add more details to the feet. I'm gonna draw two curves right down the middle on each side. Oh, I'm gonna draw a little extra part on the bottom of the foot too. Yes, okay, now let's draw the arms. First, I'm gonna draw the shoulder. I'm gonna draw a circle or a half circle shape that comes out for the shoulders. And then let's draw the arms. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes out on each side and we'll draw them together so that they can match. Okay, let's draw the rest of the arm. I'm gonna curve around like this and then right at the end, maybe we start coming back up to the shoulder. So we'll curve around at the bottom and then up towards the shoulder. Yes, and we can also add little fingers. I'm gonna draw one finger coming out here, another one, and I'm curving them this way. They look like Cheetos. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna curve the thumb going the other way. Let's do the same thing over here. We'll draw two Cheetos curving this way. <laughs> and then one Cheeto curving the other way for the thumb. <laughs> Let's add more details on the arm. I'm gonna draw the same shape right here. I'm gonna draw it on the arm. Looks like a sprinkle or a jelly bean kind of shape. And then maybe we can connect the top and the bottom. And then let's do the same thing over here. We'll draw that sprinkle shape and then a line at the top and the bottom. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our Easter Bunny robot, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, my favorite part. We are gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video at the end if you want to match our same coloring. You can also color it any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our robot bunnies, our Easter bunny robots, and they turned out super awesome. Yeah, I think so too. I hope our art friends will pause the video and take time to color their drawings also. I love that we left our bunnies white, but we used a light gray to add shading to make them look more 3D. Yeah. If you have our Art for Kids Hub markers, we used 89 pink for the ears and also some of the extra details, oh, and the nose. Then we used 66 blue for the rest of the details, and then we used CG1 for the light gray, and CG5 and 7 for the darker grays. We also used a white color pencil for the highlight, and then a blue color pencil for the second highlight. Yeah, we used the white color pencil to make our highlights a little bit bigger, and then the blue we used at the bottom of the eye. I also like the little extra carrot we added to the screen. <laughs> Yeah, you guys can add even more extra things. You could even draw a background. Maybe you have some robot Easter eggs too. That would be awesome. Yeah, they just have legs and that's it. <laughs> we hope you have fun drawing an Easter Bunny robot. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.